Coach, today's rule is American Management Services Profit Rule Number 10, which says you are not in business to pay your vendors. Let, let me sort of explain to you what we mean by that. We want you to pay your vendors. And every chance you have to pay your vendors and take discounts and create better deals for yourself, we definitely want you to do that. But when your back's up against the wall, when your bank has no more room to work with you, when your credit facility and your liquidity are shot, when you don't have any cash flow and maybe you're bordering on insolvency and you're fighting your way back from really bad, bad economic times and money, cash, availability is a problem, when every morning you're walking into the business and the first thing you're doing is signing online and seeing where your bank balance is, not your checkbook balance, your bank balance is, and you're doing, Phew, I have $11 in the bank, when you're living that close to the vest and you're not sure how you can cover your payroll on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, one of the best ways to finance things is to sort of gently, politely back up your vendors. Three, four, five days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. They want to work with you. They want to keep your business. We want you to pay them. But if you need to use them as a temporary source of financing by working with them and working on some terms and some dating, don't be afraid to do so. I know a lot of you have done it already. Don't be afraid to do so. It's a good tool when you need to. It is interest-free money. Okay. That's what we mean by profit rule number 10. You're not in business to pay your vendors. Okay. Once again, I'm not trying to sell the book, but it's our chapter 10, profit rule number 10. You understand what I mean by that now, okay? Good luck to everyone.